Welcome to this channel. The channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So take this channel and my video as a classroom in the formal university. Whatever we present here, it has to based on evidence, trackable evidence and science. Not all those uh, opinion or uh, interpretation, but we show evidence on what it is. So this channel and my video is not for everyone. And please do not continue on watching my video because if it's not for you, don't watch it. Of course, saying this here, many of our friends say, well, Henrik, you know, you don't want to start with negative uh, to chase people away. But after I have uh, observed <clears throat> for many years, I'm saying this because What I like to present is only for a certain group of people who is taking things seriously. I don't need uh, a lot of viewer. I'm not here to make money. I'm here to straight thing up so that people really know what is going on with the Chinese culture. Now, saying this, Today, i like to share with you on fake Kung Fu master and malfunction Wing Chun Bong So We need to solve this problem because it is a disaster. Now, the reason why I'm sharing it today is because this morning I woke up uh, seeing a message that uh, some of our friends in Europe send me this. Eight fake master getting destroyed by real fighters and why that happened. And then I saw this, this video sent from Asia. So an Asian friend told me that Wing Chun never work because the bong sao of Wing Chun is malfunction. So if you say Wing Chun is consists of tan bong folk when your bong sao is not function or it's a malfunction, the entire system doesn't work. And then because yesterday I shared this video, actually two days ago, this morning I got this comment here on the video. And uh, due to I got all of this, and all of them are related. I want to make this thing clear once for all for you who really want to study Chinese Kung Fu learning Chinese culture. So, of course, I'm going to go straight into the issue. Because this fake master issue, fake Kung Fu issue is a big problem. And also, the malfunction bong sao is a problem. Well, as for the fake master, you see many people uh, is uh, presenting their view. Well, it is interest interesting to see what people think, but is it what it is? Most do not know what it is, but just express their opinion. 
So it creates more disaster. So let's start from the beginning. To be exact, about 380 years ago. Three hundred eighty years ago, a person named Huang Zhongyi, a Wang, sorry, Huang Zhongxi, <coughs> a person named Huang Zhongxi. So, in the sixteen hundred, the mid sixteen hundred, he wrote an epitaph. The epitaph said, Shaolin is an external art. What he practiced is an internal art. And the person, the grandmaster who founded this internal art is the Taoist called Zhan Sanfeng. <clears throat> and uh, he learned this art from a god in his dream. So, the night he dreamed about it, the next day he woke up, he be able to kill hundreds of bad people. Okay. And then they continue on to talk about pressure point and all this kind of stuff. So this guy is born 1610. And he passed away sixteen nine uh, ninety five. Okay. So it is known that he is the person who responsible for the, the stories of Zhan San Feng passing the internal art in the epitaph he wrote, which is this one. Now, here also he said that he is anti-Qing. Okay? Well, this story sounds good for Westerner, for Chinese and everything, but this is nonsense. After 300 something years in America, we call it nonsense. Why? This person was born 1610 and passed away 1695. Guess what? Throughout all of this, throughout all of this, he never mentioned one single man's name, which is anti-Qing and influenced the Chinese martial arts. And that person is who? General Qi Ji Guang. So we know that 1560s, General Qi Ji Guang have reformed martial arts of the China, have defeated the uh, Japanese pirate years later. And the Qi Ji Guang martial arts uh, new reform or military art new reform stuff is passing to Korea, passing to Japan, passing to Okinawa is influenced with that. All of those never mentioned that. Even worse. Here is says Shaolin is external art. Well, by evidence, we know that Shaolin is actually based on the Ming Dynasty military arts. Shaolin is based on the Ming Dynasty military art history. And we know in the ancient military is the first level of the expert in martial arts. The second is the security guard. The third is the Kung Fu teacher somewhere in their village or teaching self-defense. Okay. Nobody can challenge that because that's historic. Okay. Now, 
He's writing this epitaph, making all this claim. He ignored or he, he, he just uh, left out General Chi Chi Guang's, which is, it, it's like uh, in this time right now, in this era, if we want to talk about computer or Second World War, we know who is like the, the general of the US, uh, the, the, the prime minister of the British. But you see none here. And then he make his claim on uh, the, 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 the martial arts. And then he make his claim on uh, his anti-Qing. But wait a minute. 1610 is he was born. Wait a minute. The last battle of General Chi Chi Guang's army after General Chi Chi Guang passed away for sure, right? So General Chi Chi Guang had already passed away decades. He left 3,000 army at that time, uh, 1621. That is the army fighting the coming down attempt of invasions of the Qing. Or at that time, the leader, Nuo Ha Chi. That battle in Hunhe, okay, you can check the history. They fight until the last bullet. So even Nuo Ha Chi know that this is a really tough fight. 1621. Look at this guy. He was born 1610. 1621, that big thing happened. You lost the war. Your, your, your hero army, the General Chi Chi Guang's army, completely wiped out. Fight until the last bullets. This guy didn't say a word on it. And not to mention that He's keeping saying Shaolin this, Shaolin that. Well, Shaolin is the guy who pro tried to uh, protect you, your country, Ming Dynasty from the Qing. And here he make a claim. He said, oh, he, he weaponed up and then uh, all those kind of stuff. Okay. So why do I mention this? It is like uh, in the Chinese history, as soon as you dare to bullshit, okay? You dare to bullshit, you write something and your student uh, uh, market it and keeping bullshit, 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 and then it become real. And as uh, what the saying is, when the fake become real, all real is fake. So like today, everybody will say they are anti-Qing. Anti-what Qing? Who is the real anti-Qing which you respect? Of course, it's the last fight of the General Chi Chi Guang's army. They never lost, they lost the last one and everything gone. Because they are fighting a much bigger enemy. Okay. So this internal nonsense, or we can say even more direct bullshit, passing down to today. And since then, it is, as soon as you dare to, to bullshit, you can be a grandmaster. 100 years ago, about 100 years ago in 1930s, Tang Hao, the Chinese uh, historian, saying that, how can this happen? Are you guys uh, doing all this kind of stuff, Myster mysterious stuff and everything? So 1930s, Tang Hao raised the flag. But guess what? They tried to uh, beat up Tang Hao 
for telling the truth. So today you have all this. The top Kung Fu is we e uh, feast is no feast. Uh, intention or yi is no intention. No yi is the real yi. All those nonsense. It's like uh, those uh, religious, uh, what do you call it, cult leader or the scam artists. It will tell you a lot, a lot of things, but it tell you nothing using all the terms. Now, this type of stuff, fake has been in China for at least 350 years from this thing. Of course, they are not going to tell you this. How difficult is this to find it out? So as in this thing, as in this, uh, this type of stuff, where is the military? Zero. And here he said that, oh, this, the author said that, oh, he is a very good in martial arts. And then uh, at the age of 19, he is a, uh, 1629 and he want to revenge for his father and then he killed the Ming uh, official and then all sorts of stuff. But what, what is he compared with all those guys who fighting in the, 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 the Battle of Hunhe 1621? And at that time, the Battle of Hunhe is no longer using feast, it's using firearm. Okay. So if you want to know about fake Chinese Kung Fu or fake master, this is how it starts. As soon as one guy dare to promote bullshit, after a while with his students, get all his code students, then everything will be real. So when the fake is become real, all Real is actually fake. Did anybody tell you about Chi Chi Guang? Did anybody tell you about this very sad war? Fight until their last blood. Who's the anti Qing? The Ming general, the Ming army, right? Now, so you know that fake start at that time. Cover up what is the reality. Now, another thing is about this type of fake culture come down and it propagate to Asia, propagate to, uh, to the West. And uh, let me share with you, it get influenced, today's people get influenced that uh, People is starting talking uh, very general, very superficial, but it is really confusion. Let me share with you what it is. So I was uh, present in this video really clearly oh. in the ancient, in the Qi Qi Guang time. The teachers, if you want to be a Sifu, the teacher must have the qualifications of number one, have the real life uh, experience he can pass on. For example, a heart surgeon. A heart surgeon will need to have the heart surgery experience so he can pass on if he is a professor. The second is know the basic. Like again, the heart surgeon will know the medicines basic, which you need to take in the school. The third is the teacher need to be able to uh, solve the confusions of the student, answer questions. So again, 
the, ex, uh, the, the example with the heart surgeon. A heart surgeon will um, need to be able to, uh, to, to, to coach his, uh, his, uh, his apprentice or his training doctor, a doctor in training. Okay, now, the job of the, the, the student is to properly uh, following the instructor of this heart surgeon when they want to study. This is how today's university is, right? Uh, in medical school, you don't monkey around. In engineering school, you don't monkey around. In science, you don't monkey around. Okay. Now, so, so I share that to the world. So I got this today. Now I'm sharing this, not that I'm picking up people or want to put down anybody. I want everybody to learn. So this uh, is a comment here. A teacher's answer to questions, to the questions of a pupil ought to be clear and definite there upon. It ought to be accepted as a key for resolution of doubt and basic decisions, uh, basis of decisions. If mistrust, full or unintelligent question is often repeated, it implies doubt and disbelief. The teacher would do well to ignore such question in, sign, uh, in silence for a pupil with full cup cannot be taught. This Yi Jing, Shiga 2000 BC. You know what this? This is exactly like the internal people. You say a lot of things, but you say nothing. In that video, I told the world about the qualification, like your heart surgeon. What is this? This is just a really uh, political or uh, general, very surface statement, which is say everything but say nothing. It doesn't solve anything. Okay. So my reply is, let's not get into philosophy, which is off topic. Why is off topic? Why, why you get to this teaching and all this kind of stuff? Let's go to the bottom line. A teacher needs to have the quality and qualification like in a university, i.e. like the heart surgeon. There's no room to admit those who is not there to learn like anyone playing around in the university will be expelled. You want to study medicine, you better follow. Seriously on what it is. This is what I present is just a simple education discipline issue as in any formal educations, i.e. medicines, medical school, okay? Now it come back to more. Your response number two in the line, one and two of my code, uh, you respond all kinds of stuff and saying that uh, you the university you speak of arose from a uh, school of philosophy and all those things. So, well, you know, I reply. Read what you present in your first post. There's a collection of wishful thinking, which is very confusing without any direction, literal practice. You can tell this to a, to, a, to a heart surgeon's student or the heart surgeon, but what is it? They say nothing, but just go all oh, these words, sound very wise, very, very, very wise, uh, uh, like uh, the, 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 the Jedi talk, but it, it say nothing. And so I asked, have you even watched my YouTube, that YouTube, what I'm talking about in this very specific technical details? University teach and train one to presenting in a precise and concise way. 
not all kinds of philosophy going off topic opinion and missing the point. One don't go discuss Newton's law with one belief and opinion. One study and learn what exactly is Newton's law. So as in the heart surgeon example, you need to know technically what is going on, not monkey around with uh, all this philosophy stuff. Now, so why do I, I brought this up? This is the relationship. First, you have this fake bullshit passing around for hundreds of years. And then everybody using this nonsense to call them a grandmaster because I'm the student of this guy, this guy, this guy, and have relation with this guy, internal art guy, then so forth. But hey, man, in the whole, whole real Chinese history, this thing, does it exist? It's the questions. And then the, the, the way of the language, all this using like this advanced martial art is at the, at, at the state of you don't see and you don't hurt. Feast is no feast. Uh, intention, a yi is not intention. No yi is real yi. Well, that's exactly that. Does it solve anything? It doesn't even tell you anything. It just tells you nice words, sound wise words using a lot of terminology and say Yi Jing, what the Yi Jing got to do with the, the, the ancient Chinese way of uh, teaching their student, their attitude. What is it got to do with the Qi Ji Guang have to train this army to fight the Japanese pirate? Nothing, zero. So, you want to talk about fake Kung Fu? That's the base of it. The teacher do not have the qualifications. Like a heart surgeon example I just shared. And then it got coming down and uh, it of course is going to spread around and everybody following that. And uh, for this video, this person have his, uh, his, uh, his uh, opinion, but still he didn't get it. So it's like Xi Xiaodong said, fake traditional Chinese martial arts. Well, what is a fake traditional Chinese martial arts? Is General Qi Ji Guang fake? Is General Qi Ji Guang fake? If General Qi Ji Guang is fake, then Xi Xiao don't probably have to have a last name of uh, Japanese. Okay. And of course, this is fake. Of course, this is fake. But, but how many millions of people practice internal art, thinking internal art is everything today? So, there's a problem. Everybody today can comment on something. But do they know what the heck they're talking about? It's like a, the heart surgeon. Do you know what the heart surgeon is doing before you commenting on things? Or call yourself another heart surgeon? So, that's what I want to share with you on this, this fake stuff. The root cause, the root pro, the root cause, uh, cause problem that is educations. No quality qualified educations, and it end up to be like today. It's education problem. So it is back to this. As in this video. 
because there's no quality control, there's no qualification. Everybody is up for themselves to talk whatever they want and present their own grandmaster as they want. Okay? So there's the fake thing. Now for the real thing, this is why it's the real thing. I have uh, shared in other video. You can check it out. This is the real thing. You need to know the techniques and the body condition. And today we can map the entire thing up from uh, the, uh, the, the, the recovery to aerobic base to endurance. Now, if you look into this, all the so-called fake grandmaster, how many of them can even tell you are they trained endurance? Are they trained aerobic base? Or are they trained recovery? You look at the way how they do. You know that they don't even know this. And as the hand techniques or the, uh, the means of fighting, I mean, how the hell they know anything? Just look at them. So, you know, this is uh, still a, a very good video to watch. Like the one unboxer fighting the Wing Chun uh, uh, master. And over here, you look into here, how many Wing Chun master is called fake? Well, if you have a lightning strike four times, five times in Wing Chun, you know that it is not the, 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 the people. It is the education is screwed already. It is this simple. If you just go scientific statistically you look at the system it can continue to fail in the same way then you know that the system have problems okay so there's a fake of a chinese martial arts so it no longer the means of fighting the means of fighting the means of fighting is no longer what the general chi ji guang present it uh, 1560, 460 years ago. The training, the body conditioning is no longer as the recovery, the aerobic base and the endurance. It's no longer that. So tell me, well, what martial art do you have? What master? The answer is zero. There's nothing there. It's a just empty shell. Now, so this is a serious problem. By definitions, compared with like the medical school, the heart surgeon, sorry, there is no more Chinese martial arts, but all filled with nonsense. The real Chinese martial is this, this, this by evidence, this, this. Where is your Chinese martial arts? Now, so let's look into other issue. The issue on uh, this friend saying that Wing Chun it's not function in this video. So let me share with you. In slow motion, why the bong sao doesn't work? As explained here, but I slow it out so you can see. So it, this person is showing that uh, how the thing, the proper work uh, techniques and the Wing Chun techniques doesn't work. Now, let's look at it this way. When people say this, don't look at it like uh, he's attacking Wing Chun. Remember like a university? We want to look into the technical and see what the person say, is that true or not? If it is true that the bong sao is malfunction, then you need to change it. You need to correct it. 
you need to find the solution. So let's look into this. This is a proper techniques, you see? The hand be able to move even he get slapped by that guy, pull at that guy. Now, this is the Bong Sao type. Look at that. So he share, share with you clearly. Your Bong Sao like that, people just hammer this arm, push it this side, your entire body gone. So either you put Bong Sao this way, or bong sao this way, <coughs> middle or high, you're gonna get pushed out. That's why you can see when uh, in the fighting with the BJJ and so forth, this, if you do this type of thing, this upper arm become people's handle. People just hook you behind. So look at this again. So this is another Chinese martial artist, uh, another style. Exposing this or pointing out this. This is the proper thing. Now, when you get to the Bong Sao type, your body disintegrates. So now, what are you going to say about Wing Chun? You watch all the movie, it show you all the bong sao this way. So is that, is that person who critic on this Wing Chun techniques called bong sao is real or he is uh, bad mouthing Wing Chun? Well, it turns out that he's not bad mouthing Wing Chun. He's telling the truth. Now, so how to solve this? It's like in a war, people know how to break you. As soon as you put your bong sao go up, attack this direction, pull the thing, open it up. Okay, the joint, the shoulder, you, you just apply force in this direction and you, you're going to tan, torn apart the, the shoulder. And as, as what I say, you know, uh, you can see in uh, jujitsu fighting with the Wing Chun stuff, you're pulling this thing away, just using this, this part as, a, as the handle. So what's the problem? How to solve it? The problem, the same exactly problem as what I said before. The same exactly problem with not knowing this. And then go make up this. And then go have everybody's opinion and philosophy like this. That's the problem of that bong sao. So how is the proper bong sao? Well, General Chi Ji Kuang already tell you 460 years ago. This is bong sao. You're writing probably like in the, my book, uh, uh, Kung Fu 1560. There's a reason why I wrote this book to, to, to bring whatever Chi Ji Kuang said to the West. A bong sao will never use in the range as you see over here. It never used in this range. Okay. So in other words is it never used in this range. 
a bong sao is used in this range, very close body range, where you can you can uh, elbow him and uh, you can you can just uh, broke his arm, locking him that way, or you get in and you throw him. So number one, the range, bong sao of this range is wrong. Bong Sao in this range. Bong Sao in this range is wrong. That's how the thing designed for. It is this close range. You are you are touching his uh, your your upper arm is touching his upper arm. That's where your Bong Sao come. So if you have the upper arm attaching, you can twisting, locking his arm or breaking the joints, or you just go in with the with the with with the elbow right in, or you can drop him. That's number one wrong of Wang Sao using in this range. The second thing, the second wrong. All this bong sao, never put your hand up here or up here or up here. All this bong sao is under your so under your shoulder. Under the opponent's shoulder stuff is under there. So it is low. It never in, in this or this. Look at this. That is the proper position. This you have to have a V shape like that. You never raise it up here, or you never raise. If this is elbow, your elbow never raise it up here or raise it up here. So this is like a the very low, really close body type of techniques. It's called bong sao. So. The ancient have designed it that way. Clearly present to you what the heck's going on, how to use it. If you, if you uh, don't follow that, you don't know about that, you're keeping making all this kind of stuff up, making all this kind of stuff up, like internal and all this, and then you, you end up like a 25 type of bong sao or 1,000 type of bong sao. Everybody can have their interpretation of bong sao, their, their, their way of fighting, their lineage and everything. And then everybody can have this wise words on the yi jing and everything. You end up with this. You end up with this. You want the bong like that, the people just pull you out, snap your, your, your shoulder. So, there are many things there today, like that. You want to do the, you know the truth, study what the Chinese, ancient Chinese said, and this is very scientific. So the bong sao not function. Why? Today, you see all majority of the bong sao not function. Like I told this uh, friend who sent me this video. It's because they don't follow the design. Everybody want to play smart grandmaster. And everybody have wise words. Wishful, wise word, but nobody know what is going on because you have doing bong sao for past 50 years. Don't you know that there's a problem? Well, your opponent who is in other style, of course they know. And guess what? 
they don't have to tell you in public, they're going to use it in real life. And you end up like this person. So, fake master, malfunction bong sao, the bottom line is a failed education. A failed education. And that failed education propagate to the West and people thinking, oh, uh, I can speak some Yi Jing or Tao De Jing or whatever philosophy. Sorry, General Chi Chi Guang and uh, this, uh, this, uh, those who is fighting the, in the history of Chinese military is not, is not philosophy. It is technical. It is military art. It's a war machine. It's like you go, you, you cannot talk uh, philosophy or wish, uh, 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 wise words with the, uh, the, the, the cardio or the heart surgeon. When the heart surgeon go do surgery, he have to know exactly what to do. Because who know what happened, even though everybody predicted, uh, they prepare for the surger surgery. Things still can go wrong. Just last year, a mother of my best friend went to surgery. Something go wrong. Heart surgery. Right away, they got the expert in and saved the mom and the mom is healthy now. There's no philosophy. Same with General Chi Chi Kuang. Read his history. Somebody sold him at one point. The guy who, 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 who like uh, within his group of army, which is uh, not his army, but some army, which is like ally with him, the Ming army, sold him out to the Japanese pirate. And he had to make a real change right away. Who have philosophy? So, is there any, any master here in Wing Chun? Zero. Is there any other master here? Zero. All those are just making believe stuff. So, that's why I share with you in the beginning. When I say something, I based on history and the evidence. I don't base on I think so, I believe so. Because this channel is not for, for me to make fan or for me to make money. This history, this channel is to tell you that if you want to do things, do it properly. You want to learn things, learn it properly. Otherwise, you endanger yourself. So this is what I like to share with you. You know, just let's go straight forward. You see the reality facing the MMA in uh, what I just shared with you. You see the reality facing other Chinese martial arts style. That's the reality. Until you solve it, get the brain, the mind straight. Nobody can help you. And you're keeping going down with those internal art guy. Oh, I dream uh, my, my grand grandmaster, the founder, Chan San Fong, uh, have a dream that God pitch him this. And uh, the next day he can go and kill uh, hundreds of our army. You believe that? So you still want to be, uh, uh, practice internal art? Make up your mind. I don't. That's why I never want to practice those type of internal art. I only follow General Chi Chi Kuang because he's the only guy in the past 460 years who proved himself that he proved that his uh, technology works. The rest is just, oh, this grandmaster, that grandmaster. But what is the, the, the performance? It's like a heart surgeon. 
the medicine technology today works. And it's based on that. Compare those like the heart surgeon and, uh, and, and the, 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 the uh, Kung Fu master. How can you be a master you, if you don't even get up to the standard of a common uh, uh, qualified heart surgeon? We are not talking about pioneer, okay? Talking about the quality. So I know, like the other day, I make a Chinese uh, video YouTube on this kind of thing. I'm not here to win popularity contest, but I'm here to tell all this truth so that it can avoid people get into trouble. So this is what I like to share with you today.